a hip Borelli minor enclosure. My name is Robin Nolan and uh, in this series of videos I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar and I've got something really cool for you today. It's uh, a hip Borelli minor enclosure and what the hell's that? Well hip means it's really cool. Borelli is the best player in the genre and Borelli Lagrand and an enclosure is something which kind of encloses in a minor chord. So we're going to use it in A minor. And this is something really useful that you can use at the end of a chorus. You come into the end of a chorus of a minor blues or your minor swing solo. And this lick kind of rounds off the chorus and then gives you a kind of springboard to get into launch into your next chorus. So it's uh, it's kind of, it's, check it out. You've heard it before. <laughs> So that's over A minor. Yeah, so you've got the, this last bit is the bit that I've heard Borelli doing and then subsequently all the guys like Adrum Wan Yad. Um, this is kind of bounce between the, the octave E's there. But the beginning of the lick, if you just kind of fret an A minor chord here. Okay, so A, seventh fret on a D string. And there's the as your A minor. Okay? A, C, E, A. A minor. So just remember that what this, this lick is based around. So you go a fret before the A, which is the sixth fret on a D string. Then there's the A, okay? So it starts. So. And then you just roll through the chord. Okay, there's the first finger covering fifth fret on a G, fifth fret on a B fifth fret on the top E string. So the first bit is really easy, you kind of go. You kind of let your pick fall through those strings as well, which makes it easier for picking. Almost like kind of when you strum a chord, kind of like. You kind of so like with all these licks, learn them, break them down even further within the lick. And this is the, the first part of the lick. So three, four, and loop it in time. Maybe it's even slower. Just want to make sure you got it right. Three, four, and one. It starts on the upbeat. Okay, once you got that sounding good. Okay, that sounds good. Second half of the lick, you kind of move your left hand, you go. So you're starting. 6th fret on a B string, 7th fret on a G string, Pinky takes the ninth fret on a D string, D string. then it comes down to the 1st finger, there's that G sharp again, the 1st note, and back to the A. So the second half is... Yeah, so two parts of this lick. Okay, again. And then the last bit of this lick, which kind of gives it a nice bounce. Okay, just the octave E. So Pinky takes the ninth fret on a G, which is E. And then you go. First uh, finger takes the seventh fret on the A string. And this is what gives it the groove, this lick. Because it this, like I say, that gives you the springboard for the next chorus of your solo. Okay, so you're playing over minor swing. Okay, this is the changes. D minor, E7, A minor, A7, D minor, come to A minor, A minor, B flat, E7. Here we go. to the chorus there. It work on a minor blues, say you're playing minor blues in G minor. You know that minor blues. So you come to the end of the minor blues, you go. Here we go. Then you're into the next chorus. So G minor, obviously it's easy to navigate to because you can see your G minor chord there, you can see your A minor there. 
we'll be playing it in B minor. Okay, and make sure you get that bounce at the end. That really kind of gives you the kind of gives you a lift and an inspiration to carry on your solo. So I go. And then you're into the next chorus and it all sounds great. So it's just uh, one very simple lick this week. And uh, like I say, there's two parts to the lick. The first part, very easy. Move your hand. Down, six fret. Then, yeah. So uh, learn the lick really slowly. And if it's easy for you, just really try and practice getting that bounce with the E. gives that nice lilt to the end of the chorus so it's a really useful lick you can apply it to the anywhere on a minor chord basically and I was giving an example of a minor swing at the end of the chorus minor blues and G minor at the end of the course it's gonna work great for you if you didn't know it already then this is a really classic lick so um, um, it's gonna work great so if you've got a question yourself about playing gypsy jazz guitar then send me an email questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com and don't forget to click the like button on this video if you like this kind of thing and also share it with your friends. So thanks for watching. Like always, stay inspired and I'll see you very soon for another video.